But I'm gonna just play the video just showing where this uh, lesson uh, came from. After all of that, you still, as a judge, turn around and take the side of the murderer over the victim. That is the mark of the beast in white Christianity. That's right. Please finish it for me, General. Next which is Hebrew, interpret, bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai, all praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth, Shalom. All right, this is going to be a, uh, a little response uh, to the matter at hand. Um, I'm watching uh, Elder Manatazak's video, and this is part two. Uh, the mark of the beast is what? All right, and the elder titled that because, you know, you saw General Yohanna from ISUPK, okay, talking about that Christianity is the mark of the beast. You know, he's stating that he's talking, referring to the incident with... um. Amber Geiger, the cop killer, Edomite woman, and she killed the guy in the crib, in his crib, cold blood, and now the brother of the of the victim was in court. He asked to forgive Amber and the hugger. The judge came down and hugged her, gave her a Bible. You know, he's speaking about that matter, and he said this is the mark of the beast. You know, the action in which the judge and um the the brother was was asking to forgive the edomite woman he's saying that action alone right there is the mark of the beast because that's what christianity teaches you now we all know that christianity you know does teaches uh teaches you to love your oppressor love your enemy which is off you know all you so-called blacks and latinos you need to get up out of them churches before it's too late but we know that the lord have numbered two-thirds to the slaughter straight up and only the elect is going to get the truth but the mark of the beast <laughs> the mark of the beast is not christianity if the mark of the beast was christianity then we all have the mark of the beast because when you read the scriptures about the mark of the beast and um uh let me put here i can't do it and show you from the phone because of this uh recorder feature let me put it in my other tab over here um mark of the beast right and um it shows up six six times in the bible mark of the beast so it's only about six verses where it actually says mark of the beast now, there's no scripture that says that you can repent from the mark of the beast. As it's written in Revelations, which uh, I'll get real quick for edification's sake. This is Revelations chapter 13, verse 16. It says that he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand and their forehead. And that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Now, right there alone is nowhere in hell it could be Christianity. This is common sense now. This is common sense now. That's what we're going to use, right? You don't have to be no Bible guru. You don't got to be deep. This is common sense. All right. What does Christianity have to do with buying and selling? So if you're not, if when it comes to a time where to show forth your mark, of the, your, your, your mark, you know, and you don't have it, you won't be able to buy nor sell, right? So what that means, you're going to say, oh, well, my mark is I believe in Jesus. And then you will be able to buy and sell. Is that what you're saying, General Yohanna? Because all of you guys that's believing in that bullshit, y'all, y'all a bunch of stupid ass fools. And I'm going to say it straight up, man. You're a bunch of dumb ass niggas, man. Dumbass niggas, man. That's crazy, man. You're teaching these people lies. You're teaching the Lord's elect lies, man. 
You're spreading forth. The Lord said, if he don't gather, if he scattereth. So you are an enemy to Yahweh Shah, straight up. That's bullshit. You know, the prophets, starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, time as time broke down these videos, broke down the mark of the beast, gave you examples, gave you tons, tons of um, uh, research for the mark of the beast to where it's undeniable to say that it's not. It is a game changer. It's a new form of identity. Okay. It's a GPS tracker. It's going to be the new way of how you buy and sell. Okay. It's also a, a miracle, a miracle uh, chip because it helps people with things physically in their body. Like you can give a paraplegic a chip in his spinal cord and now the nerves within his spine can reach down to what? Down to his legs and he can actually move. He can walk. So it's a miracle, all right? You got soldiers with chips in their brain, implant chips in their brains, and they could control they could control drones at the thought. If you people believe in this shit, you deserve to, uh, to be left in that uh, fire, man. You deserve to be tormented, all right? You deserve to see destruction because that's just stupid. You don't got to be deep to know this. You don't got to be a Bible guru, a scholar, this is common sense, man. So listening to that madness, yeah, it got me a little mad because it's like, man, come on. we How long? You know, these guys is really playing Satan, man. But it's pride. But it's okay, you know, because on the elect is going to get it, man. You know, we fear Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. So as Paul said, we persuade men. You know, we I fear. You know, my elders fear. My apostles fear. My brethren's fear. We all fear, so we teach the truth. It's a thing where, you know, when you learn this word, you have to be sincere with it, and you go out, and you sincerely want to teach the elect, whoever it is that's out there, of the truth, to warn them, you know, to get them ready, to get right with the Lord. We all got to get right individually with the Lord first, you know? Shit, we want the kingdom. We want, we want the Lord to actually come back. I don't know about these niggas. But the, the elect, they want the Lord to actually come back. So we're preparing that wedding, man. I don't know about these niggas, man. Anyway, um, if the mark of the beast was Christianity, we will all have the mark of the beast. Let me finish the scripture. Revelations 13, 16. He calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in his right hand or his forehead. Now, if you don't know, the word mark goes into the word karagma, Greek word. The Greek word karagma. It means something branded, imprinted, incision, something, a mark up under the skin. All right? It's a brand. It's an incision, a device that goes up under the skin. It says in their right hand or their foreheads. The right hand and the foreheads is basically just an indicator. The Lord is letting you know that it goes within the body. It's something physical, not something that you can. It's not a philosophy. All right. It's not something that you be, you believe in. It doesn't matter if you believe in the mark of the beast. All right. The mark of the beast is something physical. You don't have to believe when you got people, you got Edomites out here that's taking the mark of the beast willingly. For phone features, for house appliances, to start their car, to lock their doors. They don't believe that it's the mark of the beast. Do that make it not the mark of the beast? The scriptures say, what if some did not believe? The, do they unbelief make the faith of God without effect? God forbid. You idiot. <laughs> it's like it, man. All right. Uh, verse 17. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. All right. Now, there's no scripture that says you can repent from having the mark of the beast. So if everyone, you know, when we all woke up to this truth. We didn't know the Lord. We wasn't born and our parents was teaching us that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is the true and living power. We're Israelites from this tribe. We rehearsed holy days. We don't practice those pagan holidays. We didn't do that. We, 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 we did according to what our parents taught us or what our peers and our friends would believe. 
all right, which is really all blacks and Latinos. It was in Christianity. You was either black Baptist, Pentecost, Jehovah's Wickedness, well, well Jehovah's Wit Witness, all right, Islam. So if Christianity, what about, what about those that believe in Islam? <laughs> That's my question. <laughs> okay, if Christianity is the mark of the beast, what about those guys, because you got black families, especially here in Newark, New Jersey, where men grow up from their birth as a child, learn to be to have that Islamic faith and within Allah, to believe in Allah. What about them? Do, do they have the mark of the beast or are they just exempt because they don't believe in Christianity, they believe in Islam? You see how stupid that shit is? You see how stupid it is? I told you, it's common sense, man. Not a rocket science, man. We just using common sense here. That's it. You know, reading comprehension. You know, learning how to go into the word and, and, and get the concept of what this message means. They teach you that in English class. A passage. The, the teacher tell you, read the passage and tell me what the, what the plot is. What's the beginning? What's the end? Well, what does this passage actually mean? What, what, what is the whole motive? It's common sense, man. That's all. It's not that deep when he's talking about the mark of the beast. Because there's only six verses on it. This is Revelation chapter 14, verse 8. Um, I'm going to read this and I'm done. It says, um, And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen and is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Babylon the Great is America, and she have made all the other nations drink of her philosophies. That's why here, that's why uh, everywhere else is basically picking up the footsteps of what uh, Esau have placed in our society. It's now being placed in every other society, which is these other nations in their lands. And I give you an example, homosexuality. All right. I just won because wherever Esau go, he sets up his democracy. He sets up his policies. And the way he liked things. All right. Now, it says um, that great city, because she had made all nations drink of the wine of her wrath of her fornication. Christianity is, is worldwide, man. Christianity is worldwide. You got Chinese people that, that believe in Christ, that believe in white Jesus or that that uh, Cesare Borgia or Serapis Christus, that that image of, of that uh, Caucasian, that Caucasian man. You know, that Caucasian white Jesus, I should say. Anyway, verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image, the image is a system, all right, which is really put in play as now to what? To to intensify or to track or to basically monitor and, um, and, and have things go according to his way, which is the mark of the beast, the system, all right? Everything's set up. Biometrics, cameras. The way to buy, the way to sell, digital currency, all that. All right. It says, if any man worship the the beast in his image and receive his mark or in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Now, if you of ISUPK defend Yo, doctrine, please put on a comment board where it says you could repent from having the mark of the beast. All right. And my other question is, if Christianity is the mark of the beast.